You're sitting at home watching TV. A big gust of wind comes and all of a sudden you're staring at the sky. Along with that roof is your Tesla roof or your solar panels. Now there's no way of recharging your Tesla batteries. So now we're going to find out if you can recharge your Tesla batteries with a generator. I'm just going to film this. All right, so what are we doing now? I'm going to turn yeah. off. Just to make sure we don't overpower the generator, when we first start it up, we're going to turn all of them off, and then we'll bring them all online slowly. I couldn't find any information on how quickly the batteries will charge from it. If it'll take the full power and overload it, if they try to do all four, or if we can just try them one at a time. That's something we'll have to see. We'll all find out together. So far, we have everything out. We've turned all the breakers off to the house. We've turned all the PV off. We've turned all the battery backup off. We've turned everything off to the house. So what we're going to do is uh, we have a gateway over here that actually isolates our system from the grid. That's already off. We are already isolated. But what I'm going to double check is I'm going to take and actually put the main breaker off and uh, see if that will uh, keep them back flowing into the grid. Off. Now we'll turn the generator's breaker on. So it's got power. Now we'll turn the breaker on. Now this has power. We can slowly bring the stuff up. Let's see if it's yeah, nothing done. So nothing we'll slowly start bringing some lights on. Everything except the ACs are being powered by the generator. Okay, those are on. The chargers for the Teslas are both on. No explosion. Now, this is where it can kind of get interesting. All right, here's all the power walls. They should all be off. They're all off? They're all off. And now the breakers are on. Let's see. Okay, so the lights are on. Lights are on. Everything's on in the house. There goes nothing. Oh yeah, I hate that thing. The power goes out that thing goes off. How many power walls do you have on? Just one. I'll have to see if the inverters have to stay on to actually charge the batteries. Alright, so the inverters are kicking on. All right, what we got now is we got one power wall. We are isolated from the grid. This is just what the house is using right now. We're going to try to start the generator and add to it, see what happens. We'll go from there. my beer watch this. It's saying overload and something else. your batteries from the power or from a generator <laughs> you can't no everything's saying no it just sucks up too much power so it looks like uh, if your batteries are down you will not be able to charge it from the generator it's a uh, instantaneous one power wall instantaneously overloaded the generator they're capable of sucking far more electricity from the grid and from the generator than it's capable of producing. So, now we found out. I was expecting that, I thought it'd huh? be able to. I thought it'd be able to. When you're charging the batteries from the solar, the solar will give it everything it has. The power walls will say, give me everything you have, and it will charge the power walls. It doesn't matter if the power walls can take more, this is all they can give. 
with a generator, you have a maximum capacity and the power walls will want more than that. They're gonna say, give me all you have and everything I can take and it exceeds what the generator is capable of. Ah, so you need a big, 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 big generator. Big, 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 big generator. Like so if your roof falls off your house, you have to turn the main power off and just run the generator until that runs out of gas. After that runs out of gas, you turn the main power on and use whatever is left in here. So when the power does come back on, you'll be able to charge these fully again. Because some people just don't have solar and they just have the, these just for backup. Yeah. And so they'll use these, well, they'll do it for two things. Like in California, they have net metering. So what will happen is during the daytime or um, during the non-peak time, they'll charge the batteries up. And during the peak time, they'll use the batteries even without the solar, and that will save them money over the course of time. So batteries can be charged from the grid once the grid comes back on. And then of course, in my configuration, I should be able to get around 24 hours in a typical use. Um, a light use, probably four or five days. And the summer, maybe 13, 14 hours of use out of them with uh, all the air conditioning running.